you are watching Content with Candace. In today's video, I would like to give you an update on my YSL medium dim puffer bag. I also want to give you an update on the handbag heels and also show you what I'm currently carrying in my bag. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and please share the video. Okay, let's get into it. If you're interested in the unboxing of the handbag heels, you can see that in the description box below. I bought the handbag heel specifically for this bag. This is a YSL medium denim puffer bag. As you know, this is an all denim bag. And I want to kind of show you around it a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the front. And then we have the back along with the sides and this side. I turned the lights down so you can kind of get a better look at the denim fabric and let me just go ahead and give you an update on this bag this is the bag that i'm currently carrying right now i did contact saint laurent about the fading i did send the bag back to them after the first week of september i can't remember i know i posted a video on it sometime in september but i did send it back i've been so busy enjoying my large coach rowan that i i did, hadn't had a chance to really update you on this one but i did send it back the first week in september and on september the 11th they did contact me they basically told me that they could not repair it that basically this is a delicate delicate fabric and this is the basically the characteristic of the bag is the fading so i wanted to update you on that i know i do have a lot of coach fans and i understand that this video may not get as many views of course as my collage coach rowan and some of my other videos but i still want to provide information because this is a handbag channel pretty much and i love to give you updates honest updates on my items so in case anybody was interested so if you are thinking about purchasing this purchasing this bag or i mean a bag like this one just keep that in mind that the fading is a characteristic of the bag well i do know it's a characteristic of this ysl medium dinner puffer bag because as you see in the text messages back and forth she said it was a delicate letter and that's a characteristic of the bag and they want to just basically pack it up and send it back to me so they did characterize this bag as being in very good condition okay let's get back to the handbag heels remember i mentioned that i had purchased the handbag heels specifically for this bag i ended up placing all four on the bag and then went to the grocery store and came back with three and that's the picture you're seeing right now came back with three handbag heels so evidently one had fallen off at the store. I said I was going to reach out to the gal's guide and see if I could get some replacement parts or do I need to just purchase the handbag heel set all over again. But then I thought about it. I said, if that one fell off, then that means if I get another set, the other ones may fall off the bag too. Now, keep in mind, it may work just fine with a lighter bag but this bag is a little bit on the heavy side and it may be just the material that it does not work well with this type of bag now i will show you what i'm carrying in this bag in a minute but it did not work well with this ysl medium denim puffer bag and they may work better with leather bags i don't know but this is the bag that i purchased it for and so I wanted to give it a shot because this bag is that delicate denim fabric. And I wanted that per, that feet protection at the bottom of this bag. So that, you know, because for the most part, I don't place this bag down when I'm out and about. But I wanted to be able to place it down so that, you know, my bottom, the bottom of my bag would have protection. Well, I, I, I came back from the grocery store ended up having only three three <laughs> handbag heels on the bottom of my bag so and i did look in my car couldn't find them so i ended up taking the other taking those three off and i just said i'll just carry it without handbag heels the thing i saw with the handbag heels is on this 
particular fabric. This is the little bag that they came in. Okay. So the thing I saw was that now these these magnets here, the ones that go on the back, they're very, very strong magnets. But these magnets here, they'll magnetize each other, but they're not as strong. And I, uh, I'm going to try to demonstrate that, as you can see on the back, how they pull in together. I'm going to try to demonstrate. Okay, so I got it off. Okay, so I'm going to put this little back magnet over here. And I'm going to put this other back magnet away from that one. And... I see I got this all, but see, if I try to magnetize that, it's not as strong. It's a little bit, it's a little weaker. So I think what it may be just a, when it comes to putting this on fa fabric bags. Now this may work better with the leather, but you see how easily that comes apart. It may work better with the leather bags, but for this bag, it did not, it did not work well for my YSL medium dinner puffer bag. Maybe mine is a special, I don't know. But as you can see, I can easily pull that apart. But when you put the magnet, the back magnet on these, it's a strong adhesion. I'm not gonna even, let me show you. See there? It's a lot stronger. So I'm, I'm, I'm wishing, hoping that this magnet here, this part here could be just a little, just a little bit stronger. And I think that will kind of uh, fix the problem if you want to do it, the heels on the cloth bag. But my only concern would be if they make this stronger, is that going to damage the material in any way? So that's something to think about. So now I'm down to three handbag heels, everyone. And I really need a fourth one, I said, uh, but, and it just fell off, you know. It fell off my bag. I'm not sure. If I bumped it in the grocery store or what happened? Why did it fall off? But I'm, I, I wear my bags crossbody and I'm, I'm real gentle with this bag when I'm carrying it. You know, I carry it normal, but I kind of baby it a little bit if, 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 if that makes sense. So I was a little bit disappointed that one fell off because these are beautiful, beautiful items to place on your bags. But I said I would reach out to her and... and I'm just going to let that one stick on the back with those for now and see if I could just get, and I just may just get another set because they don't cost that much. So I may just get another set, but I'm going to talk to her and see what she tells me about them. But anyway, I want to update you on that because, you know, I, I, I give real honest information on my channel. I don't sugarcoat. I don't make up anything. You get the honest truth on this channel. Okay, so we're going to now talk about what's inside my bag. As you can see, I just want you to get a view of the inside and how I have it packed. And uh, quickly going to go through what's inside the bag so you'll know. The first thing that's in here, of course, I have a Zumani bag organizer on the inside. It's in black, the same color as the interior of the bag. But this is my YSL full-size wallet. I do have that in there. So it holds everything, my cards, my cash, my change, my check register, all of it. The whole nine yards, you name it. Look at there. It's in there. Okay, great. Uh, I, and I'm becoming a, a, a big fan again of full-size wallets. I really here lately been loving a full-size wallet. Here's my little key pouch, the little mesh key pouch that I love to carry all the time. That's in there. I always love carrying my coach wristlet that I got from the coach outlet. That's in there. Go ahead and just take lead that out till I get everything else out. I also love carrying my coach wristlet that I got from the retail. Coach retail. I also have a mesh pouch with some coupons, a pen, and a pencil in it. And let's see. I have quite a quite a had quite a bit in this bag, as you can see. Let's see what else I got down here. I have one of these clippies in there, and I do have a receipt. And that's all besides the bag organizer. I have that in there. Now, 
I really, really don't really need a bag organizer in this bag. But as I was storing this bag, I wanted to see if it will hope help it hold its shape and not slouch so much. So I do store with it in there. And this is my first time carrying the bag with the bag organizer. Now this is one of Zumani's thicker bag organizers and it does add weight to the inside of the bag. And this is all I have inside my bag. Now you can just give me your honest opinion. I still think it's a good looking bag. When they told me they couldn't repair it, of course, I felt some kind of way initially and I've been reflecting and thinking, oh, I need to just go ahead and sell it and maybe sell it to Fashion File or, or something. But, you know, I'm not going to ever get rid of a bag without trying to carry it first. And I, I still love the bag, so, <laughs> which is evident from the number of times that I've carried it this year. So I think I'm going to hold on to her for a while. Like I said, the bag was rated by St. Laurent to be in very good condition. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.